The question that's been on everyone's mind lately, what is the metaverse? Well, there is no one answer to that question, and that's because everyone you ask is going to have a different opinion. But today, I'm going to go over my research and try and explain what I believe the metaverse is, why it's going to mean so much to you, and why it's going to be so crucial for cryptocurrency going forward. To a certain extent, talking about what the metaverse means right now is a little bit like having a discussion about what the internet means back in the 1970s. The building blocks of a new form of communication were in the process of being built, but no one could really know what the reality would look like. Pay attention and keep watching. What's going on everyone? It's Armando and I'm back with another video. This one's going to be a little bit different and we're going to take a deep dive into a vague topic and try and shed some light on it. As you all have probably seen in the last couple of months, the metaverse has taken the world by storm, even going as far as having one of the biggest companies in the world do a complete rebrand to fit what it believes is the future. The metaverse doesn't have a single definition. It includes virtual and augmented reality, 3D virtual worlds like Fortnite, Roblox, and Minecraft, and the decentralized Web3 services, including cryptocurrencies and NFTs. To a lot of people, it means a digital 3D world full of real people with virtual bodies that can interact with each other. I mean, look at what Fortnite did back in 2019 and 2020 with Marshmallow and Travis Scott. Say what you want about the game, but the first concert sat over 10 million people and the second did over 27 million. And those are just numbers you can't ignore. Fortnite's virtual world is an example of what some people can call the metaverse. But this metaverse isn't something new. In fact, while giant tech companies like Meta are making big investments, other big companies have already made metaverse style platforms like Second Life developer Linden Labs, years before Facebook even existed. Some of you may not even know that the term's actually been around since the 1990s. Author Neil Stevenson coined the term metaverse in his 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash, which envisions a virtual reality-based successor to the internet. In the novel, people use digital avatars of themselves to explore the online world, often as a way of escaping this dystopian reality they live in. Set in the early 21st century, Snow Crash imagines a bleak future. The global economy has collapsed and federal governments have lost most of their power to a handful of giant corporations. And the metaverse is an escape for the novel's main character. He's a nearly broke computer hacker and pizza delivery driver named Hero. He spends much of his time there and he accesses the metaverse by wearing goggles and earphones. And he appears in the digital world with his own customized avatar. This all sound a bit familiar? The company formerly known as Facebook has also bet big on the metaverse. The CEO Mark Zuckerberg hyped the already popular term back in October when he changed the company's name to Meta and led viewers through this dizzying vision of his future. In this meeting, he introduced the concept of something like an upgrade to a Facebook 2.0, a new and alternative Facebook model that aspires to bring the metaverse to life and help people connect, find new communities, and grow businesses. They'll probably be doing all of that while shoveling your personal data onto their company servers where it will then be turned into money for the company. The metaverse is conceptually growing at an incredibly rapid pace, both in cultural awareness and financial terms. And since the idea of the metaverse is slowly but surely starting to become more mainstream with several big data companies embracing it or at least experimenting with it. Some financial analysts are calling the metaverse the next big investment theme in both crypto and traditional tech spaces. And according to Bitcoin.com, Morgan Stanley, one of the biggest investment banks in the world, has announced that the metaverse, together with all its related projects, could be the next buzz concept in the world of investing. And this is all really great news to hear, but I'm sure you're all really interested in how does that really relate to crypto? The simple answer to that is that some blockchain-based protocols could potentially be considered the true catalyst when it comes to the development of the metaverse ecosystem. In order to see the metaverse come to fruition, in the way that we would all like to see it, we will first have to see a happy marriage between the metaverse, gaming, and NFTs. For the most part, when people think about NFTs, they think about these images of digital artworks, pixelated collectibles, and funny looking apes. And then they see the crazy amount of money that's being invested in them. And some of them can't wrap their heads around it and understand why. And in some cases, I can't blame them. But 
what has happened lately in advancements in gaming and NFT space has opened up the playing field for NFTs to actually start experimenting with built-in functionality and leverage the respective in-game utilities. If you didn't know, in simple terms, the architecture behind NFTs grants the owner a digital certificate of verifiable ownership over an asset in the virtual realm. Think about how powerful this is. Most people in the world rarely get to experience the sense of true ownership. You buy a house, it's a 30 year mortgage. You finance a car, it's a five to six year term. And even buying a phone these days, unless you buy it outright, which most people don't do, you're paying it off in two years. So similar to the real world contracts and ownership, NFTs allow its holders to use and leverage their assets, whether it be a valuable crypto punk, a bored ape avatar, a plot of digital real estate, or a gaming item within the metaverse environment. This is why I believe that NFTs and the metaverse will be synonymous with each other. This is because the NFT-based metaverses that incorporate crypto assets and blockchain into the underlying technology can usher in an entirely new economic framework and put cutting-edge financial paradigm within their respective ecosystems. You might be asking yourself, what makes a blockchain metaverse so different from those traditional environments found in games such as The Sims, World of Warcraft, Destiny? I could probably go on and on. Well, there are three key features of the blockchain-built metaverse that designers have placed an emphasis on, right? And those are decentralization, user governance, and real-world value. This unique architecture of the blockchain game can open up more money-making opportunities for all players, which also means ownership of the metaverse space is shared equally across its user base. When it comes to user governance games like Decentraland, for instance, they make use of decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs, as well as governance tokens, and they use these to help put the players in charge of the game's future roadmap through governance systems. So this way, the metaverse environment can in turn become much more than just a simple crypto game. It can potentially become an entire society led by its economic and leadership models. To try and explain real world value, what you could derive from this blockchain metaverse, I'm gonna be referring to Axie Infinity and Sandbox as they've been the best to do so. You can definitely say that Axie Infinity was the blockchain game that kicked off the whole gaming DeFi and metaverse trend many months before these other tech giants decided to see what all the fuss was about. Axie doesn't provide much in terms of visual quality or aesthetics, but it has become one of the most traded sets on OpenSeas with over 27,000 ETH in trading volume. Created by Sky Maves, Axie Infinity is a game that revolves around cute digital pets called Axies. Each Axie is a non-fungible token on the blockchain with a unique set of characteristics. Think of it like Pokemon. Each has a unique set of skills, stats, and features that make it one of a kind. And just like Pokemon, players can breed, battle, and go on adventures with their axes. What makes it different from Pokemon games is that players get rewarded with tokens that have real-world value whenever they compete in in-game activities. These rewards, which are also tokens on the blockchain, can be later exchanged for money. Sometimes, a lot of money, guys. And Axies Infinity's play-to-earn framework shares so much of the value the game creates that people are actually turning it into a full-time job, particularly in developing third-world countries where the cost of living are a lot lower. For example, the Philippines have turned to Axie Infinity's in-game rewards for actual in-world currency. It's the first NFT platform to exceed 1 billion in transactions, and the merchants in the Philippines now even accept Axie's in-game currency, Smooth Love Potion, to pay for food and sneakers, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Now, we recently did a deep dive into Sandbox, so if you want a little bit more detailed information, check out the link below. But just like Axie's, it's creating a new income-making opportunity around the world. This project is deeply involved in gaming and is building its own advanced metaverse structure in the Sandbox. Sandbox is a blockchain-based virtual world where users can create, buy, sell, and trade digital in-game assets such as plots of virtual land. I can remember when Sandbox originally came out as a 2D mobile game where users could create their own virtual world in the Sandbox. To the surprise of many, including me, it was able to amass 40 million users. And back in 2017, 
Pixel announced that it was going to turn Sandbox into a 3D game built on Ethereum, where every in-game item that users create is a non-fungible token. Sandbox's virtual world consists of 166,000 plots of land, and what's cool about these lands is just like the real world, you can monetize them as digital real estate. Just recently, we saw Snoop Dogg come out with his land in the Sandbox, dubbed the Snoopverse. We've seen high-profile TV shows like The Walking Dead make in-game experiences with adding zombies to the metaverse, and this is just the beginning. The current floor price for a plot of land in Sandbox is currently $13,000. So as you can see, land holders in the Sandbox can derive both passive and active value from their NFTs. As you all can see, there are several projects that are creating digital twins of our physical world and building apps and programs that can be overlaid and used in our everyday lives. These programs will enrich the physical and digital world around us by filling it with information and making it new use cases available at our fingertips. The future of the metaverse is really bright, and we are just in the beginning stages. In the very near future, we'll be able to interact with this information layer through augmented reality or virtual reality devices. Users will be able to experience the internet all around them using connected devices whenever and wherever they like. That's all I got for you guys today. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for some more video updates. And like we always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. See y'all in the next one. <laughs>